Gemini, welcome to your September reading. It's been a while since we did a Zodiac reading, so I'm catching up now. Feel free to check out all of your placements in the series so you can get a full picture of your September. By the way, I'm Cindy, and this is Intu Bringer of Light Intuitive. Thank you so much for being here. Gemini, take a Take a all your <laughs> take a look at all of your placements so you can get a full picture. Also, if this is fine to you at a later date than September, take it for the month that you are in because these are all technically timeless. Okay, so take what resonates and leave anything that doesn't, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at the energy that maybe you may be dealing with right now, bringing you into the month. And then we'll pull some tarot and see what you can expect. I've got the Goddess of the Moon card here. That's all about your intuition. And just as I say that, I have the Crown Chakra. Interesting, because, you know, that came out and we got the Thinking Man, which is you, Gemini. Air energy. It's kind of like the King of Swords. Clarity is coming to you this month. It's so interesting that, anyways, I was going to say, <laughs> in Aquarius's reading, we had a lot around intuition, guidance, psychic abilities. I need to turn down my light. Aquarius, Aquarius. You may want to check out Aquarius's reading because it was kind of the same. Um, I do have the door to romance opening for you, Gemini. And I have some victory energy here. Love that for you. So I feel like you are getting clear. Maybe you're getting clear about where you want to go next. What do you want to do? What do you want in your life? What you no longer want? Maybe you've been really getting clear. See how he's focusing on that clarity crystal? That That's that's a you know crystal like my little crystal right here. A clarity. <laughs> a clarity. What was that? I don't even know. <laughs> Clarity. <laughs> anyway, Gemini, <laughs> you've been really focusing in on some sort of getting clear about a situation. Maybe you're getting clear about your life. Maybe you're getting clear about a specific situation. I feel like you've been really putting in a lot of thought. You've been putting in a lot of, it's almost like a hermit energy that I'm feeling where you just kind of take a step back out of a situation or just away from everything. And you're really listening to your heart and you're getting clear about things. Maybe you're getting clear about a, con a connection in your life. Maybe you're getting clear about just your life in general, really moving forward. We're approaching the end of the year at the time of recording this. And maybe you have some goals that you still want to meet this year. Maybe you haven't gotten to be, maybe you're not as far in it, in achieving a goal as you wanted to be by now. I feel like you've just been really getting some clarity, you know, and just really thinking about things in your life. Moving forward, you have victory, but you also have a lot of psychic ability. <laughs> the goddess of the moon card is your intuition, following your intuition, staying in connection with your intuition. Maybe you feel the moon cycles, you know? There is a full moon coming up. I want to say that's next week. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, you have your crown chakra. You're receiving some sort of guidance. You are receiving the clarity. You're receiving some sort of uh, like psychic abilities and clarity in your psychic abilities and in your intuition. So you could be receiving dreams with messages in them, foretelling your future, giving you the answers that you're looking for, giving you the clarity that you're looking for that sets you on the path towards victory. The victory, path, the victory card tells me that you're closing some sort of major cycle in your life. And maybe that's what you're getting clear on. It's just really clearing up an old cycle and really ready to leave that in the past and move forward in a new way. Really just, maybe you're going through some sort of a transformation. Maybe you're going through some sort of a glow up and you're just doing things different. You're, you're looking different. You are doing, maybe you've lost some weight. Maybe you're doing life different. Maybe you're preparing for romance. 
maybe you've left a connection and you are preparing for the next one. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're getting clarity, you're getting guidance, so pay attention to that, and you're getting the victory, which I love. So let's see what the tarot wants to add for this reading for you for September. Gemini, what can you expect besides victory and clarity? What can you expect? Yeah, see, I feel like you've had choices to make, Gemini. And there's a big cycle closing. The 10, everything goes in cycles of 10. And you're about to have victory or you're closing or maybe you're, maybe this is a little past energy where you've already closed this cycle. You have the one here. 10 becomes a one. You're ready for this new beginning. You're ready to not be maybe uh, confused anymore. Maybe you're juggling too much. Maybe you're working too much. Maybe you've been working, you know, some, both of these cards can talk about kind of burning the candle at both ends, maybe, you know, exhaustion, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, just kind of doing too much. You've come out of balance. So I feel like you may be getting clarity for some of you. Anyway, you may be getting clarity on how to change my situation so that I'm not pouring in too much energy into one thing and not enough into another. There's some sort of out of balance energy or maybe you're working too much and it's starting to affect your health. Stress levels. You're ready for this new beginning. When you get the clarity, it's like the door opens for you and suddenly you're moving forward in a more successful way where everything is flowing. Maybe you felt like that Two of Pentacles feels kind of stuck, like I've, I've been stuck in this, this, you know, maybe confusion, maybe overworking, like I was saying. And all of a sudden, it's like you get the clarity, you make the decision, and then the door opens for you. And this is a lot of positive energy happening. This is a lot of forward movement. This is a successful energy. This is a lot of positive energy opportunities and maybe getting really busy. Maybe you are trying to figure out how to get busy and you've been just in your head about it. And suddenly it's like you have this creative inspiration because you've got all this psychic energy over here. You're getting some sort of downloads. You're getting some sort of intuitive hits. Listen to them. Pay attention to them. One of them is going to break you free from whatever it is that you've been, you know, s struggling with or out of balance with literally break you free and push you forward in a big, big way. Um, this could also be, you know, all of a sudden you are, you know, we're looking at romance too. So the door to romance, suddenly you could meet somebody. Whoops. Maybe you are intuitively feeling that this is coming. You could meet somebody. Oops. And then it's like you guys are inseparable. You know, take it how it fits for you, Gemini. But I see big changes coming in for you. Sudden changes. I love it. What can you expect, Gemini? Get out of your head. Get out of your head and trust because you can trust your intuition, but we don't, we don't really feel, we don't really hear our intuition when we're in our head. When you've got, when you're all up in your head, that tends to be really loud and your intuition is that still small voice in your heart. You're receiving a lot of guidance, maybe through dreams, maybe in unexpected places or through friends or through music or through accidentally overhearing conversations when you're in line at the bank or at the store or something like that. You are receiving guidance. You're getting very clear. You may be a bit of an overthinker though, and it may be easy for you to get all up in your head. And so just remember to breathe when those moments come. Remember to breathe and breathe and drop into your heart because that's where your intuitive guidance comes from. And it's hard to hear that when you're all up that. Okay, I've got the six 
Okay, interesting. I've got the Six of Swords after the Five of Swords. So remember that victory card that we got earlier? All my cards just went all over the place. <laughs> the victory card that we got earlier, you get victory over this. You have victory. So if you're stressing about a situation, know that you are getting victory in, in this month. You're moving away from that. You've overcome. There's, there's this breakthrough that happens for you. You're moving out of the storm and into peace. So whatever it is that you might be struggling with or trying to find answers, trying to find clarity, you get the clarity, you get the victory, and you move forward in peace. So I love that. Could be around your finances. You have some sort of a new, new inspiration that shows up for you this month. Follow your heart. Your cards are telling you to follow your heart. So we have the Nine of Swords here. So I feel like you've been in your head about something. So this is just reiterating. When we're all up in our head and we're, we're listening to opinions, we're listening to our brain and maybe negative thinking, we can't hear our intuitive guidance. We can't hear our heart. So this is just coming out as the foundation of your little spread here that is, I feel like you're stressing over something and you've been trying to figure out how to get past it. And so just remember, drop into your heart and listen to your heart because you, you are being given guidance. You are going to get through this. You are going to get to the other side and you are having some sort of creative inspiration that is coming through from your intuition, your psychic dreams, messages, things like that. You do have some sort of inspiration that's coming in and you're gonna take a hold of that and you're gonna move forward with it and it's going to change everything. That eight of wands, I mean, fast forward movement, fast forward movement, it's also very, un. it's like you don't see it coming. It's very um, sudden. It's a suddenly. You can expect a suddenly this month. Sudden clarity, sudden forward movement, sudden inspiration, sudden communication that breaks you through and pushes you forward. I don't think you see it right now. It may come around the next full moon whenever you're seeing this, it may come around the next full moon because now we have two moon cards and there is a full moon coming up. So you may, that week that the full moon is um, falling in, you may get some sort of breakthrough that week. So I would mark it in your calendar and if save this reading and come back and let me know if that happens because I'm feeling like something, you've got the wheel of fortune. There's something destined for you that's happening this month. I also have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, remember. Follow your heart. Your heart is leading you in the way that is destined for you. You have some sort of breakthrough. And it could be a love offer coming in, but I'm mostly getting to follow your heart. Okay? Really, really follow your heart. Follow what makes you feel good. Follow your happiness. Follow what lights you up because it's going to take you to something that is literally going to change your life. The wheel of fortune is fate and destiny and fortune turning in your favor. It's positive change, especially when you've been going through something stressful. You've got coming out of the storm and you've got coming into peace. You've got movement going in the right direction. You've got the door to romance opening over here, remember? You've got fate and destiny stepping in. You've got abundance. You've got peace. You've got clarity. You've got breakthrough. You've got victory, remember? So this is going to resonate differently with all of us. So take it how it fits for you. But I see a fated moments coming in for you. Destiny and positive change. Also, this could be romance. 
this could be romance that's coming in for you and do do what feels right to you you know it it's gonna light you up follow that there's a reason it lights you up I've got a king of cups here too let me get some more cards and see what else spirit has for you here this king of cups now that could be love just as I say that we have the ten of cups <laughs> And, oh, the Eight of Pentacles. So I have love and money here. Take what fits for you. I have you showing up, doing the work every single day. You're showing up, you're trying to get that clarity. You're thinking about it. You're, you're putting in the work. You are doing what you know to do. And suddenly it's like the, the universe is like, okay, now now's the time. Bless Gemini. Bless them bring in what they need overflowing because this ace of cups is overflowing so whatever it is that you need it's going to feel magical literally this is my magic card and i'm not a hypey reader i just call this magic because it's like magical events lining up for you and anytime the universe is is behind anything it's always magical especially if you believe in that stuff which i do so I encourage you to do the same. We've got the Ten of Cups. You keep doing what you're doing. You're going to get the clarity. You're going to get the victory. You are going to have exactly what you need coming through. You've got massive change in September, Gemini. You've got massive change, okay? You have unconditional love. And this is also you following your heart and giving unconditional love. With the King of Cups, he's unconditional love. So there looks to be that there is somebody here that loves you a lot. Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. But there's somebody here, I feel like, that loves you a lot. The door to romance is opening here for you, Gemini. And so I feel like someone's coming through. <laughs> someone's coming through that door. Also, remember the door. It shows a heart being locked up in a cage so I feel like this this door opening for you I feel like is something that maybe you felt like was not going to open maybe this is a specific connection that you are thinking of and you, maybe they felt like they were not going to open up to you or something like that but you're feeling intuitively this pull towards this person suddenly the door opens and suddenly they're ready You've got 1010 10 here. 1010's 10, been coming up in a lot of readings lately. I would write ten, I would I would take note of that because every time 1010 10 shows up for you, remember that this is happening. Things are turning in your favor. I mean, they are turning in your favor. You've got the victory. You've got the victory and you've got love. You have some sort of inspiration, too, that's coming in that is leading you to all of this. I'm going to be waiting for you to tell me what it is. I've got the justice here. A legal situation going in your favor? Maybe that's what you've been grappling about. Maybe that's what you've been waiting for. The 10 and the 11... There's forward movement. You've got forward movement all over this reading. You have things changing. You have, maybe you've been just stuck. You've got all this movement. So expect progress. Expect clarity. Expect doors to open. So you expect to be in your power. This is your card. But it's also love. It's also making a choice to follow your heart, which has come out. So I feel like for you, Gemini, maybe what's been held back or what you felt like has been held back from you is like the door is going to open and you're going to go through. It's like the door is going to open magically. Maybe you've been waiting for a door to open for a really long time. And it's like, all of a sudden, here we go, you know? It's been brewing for a while. 
it's been being put together. The pieces of your puzzle has all been being put together and now it's like the door opens, the breakthrough comes, and everything is aligned. So you tell me in the comments below, look, you're ready. You're ready to take the leap of faith and go in this new direction. You're ready. You've been thinking about it long enough, right? You're ready. So you tell me in the comments below, Gemini, what this means to you. I would love to hear if you want to share it. If you don't, that's fine. But I always want to know who I'm reading for. But this, these cards are, there's just the full spectrum. It looks like most, most everything that's coming out for you, Gemini, this month is like movement. Clarity, guidance, and a lot of movement. I love that. And lead, leaving the past in the past and what you've been struggling with, getting that clarity that you've been thinking about, getting, this is your energy. It's you being in your power. And so you're, you're making decisions that are bringing you towards victory. And I love that for you. Victory, clarity, movement, progress, achievement, goals achieved with that eight of wands. This is achievement. Maybe something got clear for you on the Lionsgate portal. And it's like now the gate opens. I feel with this energy I'm seeing, I'm seeing a, um, like a racehorse that's been held back. You know, the gate is closed and they're ready to go. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. And then all of a sudden the gates open and they go. That's the energy here. Tell me how it fits for you. I can't wait to hear from you. Check your other placements and get a full picture of what's going on for you, Gemini. And I will see you in the next reading. Thank you for being here. If you would like your own private reading with me, that information is always in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next reading.